Hey Don here. Okay, so I got me a new power strip. I'm running my first test on the uh, Kenmore microwave. Went around there already and felted the cable, and it's good. No, uh, no heat. This is the. Uh, this is it. I put it up in our little cabinet that the microwave sits on, and there's those. bug repellers are plugged into it. That's the only thing that's plugged into it besides the... <laughs> and they take up the whole thing, too. It's the only thing. It's a... It's upside down, but that's a triple light, or triple light. I call them, always call them triple lights. It was probably a while, a couple of years before I even realized how they were really spelled. Trip dash light. Two T's. But, uh... These things are actually made in America. I've, I've used, used them for years, and I like them. I've never had one go out. And uh, this one was $26, $27. But it also has, um, I could have got a little bit cheaper one, but it also has phone. There's our phone wiring right there. Um, right here, we used to have a, I just, we used to have a wireless, but the da phone died. So uh, got another wireless setup with like five, five phones. So uh, I just wired it through there because it has a, phone line protection. I'm not going to drag it all the way out, but they're plugged in at the end of it down there. Um, and it's supposed to help. We have trouble with noise on our phone line not very often, but whenever it rains and stuff, it's supposed to help with noise, so maybe it'll help with that. Right now, I don't, <laughs> we don't have no phone service right now, and I don't know if it's because I left something the phone off the hook too long and it hasn't reset yet, but it's been a while and I even went outside, going around the corner and showing where it goes. I even went outside and, you know, looked around in the box and made sure everything was, no wires were loose or anything. There it is. It's kind of funny. It goes off to the side. That's the way it's made. But it's a little bit longer than the other one, but it's rated at the same amount of watt. I think it's 1800 watts if I remember right might be on there uh, I looked at the manuals before I spent a lot of time researching to make sure I had one that could handle the microwave you know but it's uh, it has seven outlets I'm only gonna use three two of them are just those you know low drop bug repellent things and the telemodem protection of course there's no modem it's just a telephone but it's supposed to like I said it's supposed to help with the has an LED that says um, or not you're grounded <laughs> but it's it, it's not that smart I can tell you that because I put a grounded plug in there but our house is two wire and the lights uh, green show you the light the light down there is green showing that it's grounded but that just means I thought we would be able to tell if the wire actually went to ground or not but it can't it just tells whether or not there's anything connected to the uh, ground leg of this thing so don't let that thing, that kind of sensing, be your uh, tester, for sure. But uh, 15 foot cord, a little longer than the other one. It was eight or nine foot, I think. And uh, I was trying to see if I saw anything about the wattage. And they have, you know, a lot of these have these guarantees uh, on your equipment and stuff. I mean, these will work for computer. This is really made for computers. Uh, it's kind of odd that they still make this one well I mean it's not odd really because there's other reasons to protect your phone line besides a modem but but I mean there are, I guess there's plenty of people that live far out of the way from the cities that uh, still got either dial up or satellite and that you know internet or that's it so uh, so let's see it went off and I didn't of course I'm sure it cooked it's been we've been using the microwave again it hasn't it's done okay, but it did go back into, it's on parallel 10, but one time I was cooking with it, and the same old thing, it went back to power level 8, and I didn't even notice it, I noticed it when I pulled my TV dinner, I pull it out, stir it up, put some cheese on it, put it back in, that's how I do every, all my TV dinners, and uh, that's just water in that mug, and um, I keep forgetting the word put the deal that darn 
why do you need that many dings and why does it have to be that loud and why doesn't it quit when you open the door like the, all microwaves used to do all that I ever had uh, anyway that's good and hot now that's been done three minutes and now half uh, 30 seconds but I'll let that cool before I pull it out of there so I still can't stand this microwave and I don't know if we'll get another one right or not uh, it's one of those things you know we're kicking back down into power level 8 and running your food if you did give it back to them they'd just keep it for a few months and then send it back they wouldn't do anything to it I'm sure so uh, I've read lots of reviews on uh, they, this just what these things do there's something wrong with their design I think and uh, at least it wasn't well so far I mean I still don't you won't know until time goes by whether or not it uh, was causing the cord to heat up and cause that damage to the old uh, old cord but the old uh, connectors on the old cord I mean it's I replaced the end you know I'm gonna use it somewhere else now but uh, it works fine I've, we've been using it for a week or two I guess it's just been about a week since I brought it back in and sent that RCA back and uh, so anyway we'll either get tired enough of it to go get another one again or uh, if it causes trouble we'll for sure get rid of it but we've only got if we were going to use the warranty you know then we've only got till January the 20th that can go by fast so anyway there's my new power strip and uh, we'll see how everything goes all right bye